Hey guys, this is Kyle from Tech Lingo with another Christmas special. Perhaps you're wondering what are the top smartphones money can buy, so hopefully this video answers it. What's popular now is that you get either an Android powered device or an iOS phone. So we've chosen two devices that we strongly feel best represents each contender. Here's the Nexus 6P and the iPhone 6S Plus. The Nexus is powered by a Snapdragon 810 processor with 3GB of RAM, while the iPhone sports an A9 chipset with 2GB of RAM. Specifications aside, rest assured they are both running pretty decent hardware. The Nexus 6P offers a Quad HD screen, which is slightly larger at 5.7 inches, while the iPhone 6S Plus is a HD screen at 5.5 inches. This means that the Nexus 6P will indeed be much clearer with a higher pixel density at 518 ppi compared to the iPhone 6S Plus of only 401 ppi. Color production on both devices are vibrant and crisp. Even with a difference in screen sizes, the physical dimension on both devices are still very similar. One thing noticeable is that the iPhone is indeed slightly heavier at 192 grams compared to the 178 grams on the Nexus 6P. This could be due to the Series 7000 aluminium Apple has used, but it does create a much sturdier phone. The Nexus line of phones have been known to have pretty bad cameras, but not this time. Both phones now have cameras that perform amazingly. With at least 12 megapixels for both back-facing cameras, the main difference here is that the Nexus 6P has a larger pixel size at 1.55 microns, while the iPhone 6S Plus is only at 1.22 microns. If you're new to this, one way to judge a camera's performance is to look at the sensor size. That is why DSLRs take better pictures as they have a larger sensor surface to begin with. Now let's take a look at the few sample shots taken by both phones. You can see a noticeable difference in the color temperature and a better performance in low light conditions. Now it's already starting to be common for smartphones to include a fingerprint scanner for a more secure authentication method. Therefore, you would want this process to be seamless and quick. The Nexus 6P has its scanner at the back of the device, closer to your index finger, while the iPhone 6S Plus has it at the home button on the front. I have compared both phones and it unlocks just about the same amount of time. However, the iPhone may have the advantage here as you will be able to unlock your phone even when the device is laying flat on a table. Through these years, battery technology hasn't been improving just as fast as how chipsets and cameras have been. Still, both phones should be able to last you a day's use with the Nexus 6P containing a 3450mAh battery while the iPhone 6S Plus with a 2750mAh battery. Now let's take a look at some special feature each device can offer. As you can tell, the Nexus 6P now uses a USB Type-C port. This has many advantages such as a reversible port even on both ends of the cable and an even higher wattage throughput which allows it to charge a phone faster or even a laptop. It is with certainty that the Type-C port will become widely used in the future as all our daily gadgets make the gradual shift towards it. The Nexus 6P also spots a stereo speaker that sounds stunning compared to its predecessor. It will definitely provide a fuller experience when consuming content such as videos. The iPhone 6 now begins to have a third layer of sense into the screen, and they call it Force Touch. Simply put it, it can register how hard you're pressing on the screen. Although it may not be widely adopted in iOS yet, I definitely see this as a potential as it improves a user's interaction with a flat screen. Hopefully we start to see developers introduce features into their own apps. In conclusion, we don't want to solely pick a device and say that it is the best, because these smartphones pretty much have hardware which are on par with each other and it all boils down to the physical aesthetics and the OS environment that you're comfortable with. With that being said, this is Carl, signing off.